Hello, my name is Sir Edward Neal. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Atom Prater. I'm a hired actor. I went to school with Juilliard. I'm here to explain to many of you, most of you must be friends or family, comrades, acquaintances, whoever you may be, I encourage you. Take a seat. Enjoy. For this program will not last long, but I do ensure you, you must listen very carefully what I have to say on behalf of Mr. Atom Prater. Now first, I'd like to inform everyone that there is a giant elephant in the room, and that is, will Mr. Atom Prater be in Butler University, a fine establishment, I do say so myself. However, will he be there in the spring? Ha. I'm here to inform you he will not. He will not be there. Now I know, I know, listen. What will he do? Well, well, I mean, he's a dropout, he's a failure. Oh, there, there now. Sir Atom Prater does not go down softly. He's got a plan, I do ensure you, he's got a plan. And a good one, I do say so myself. So without further ado, yip, yip, I've got an assistant who's gonna show you this very plan. Ha! Ah. Plan A. Yep. Ah. It starts off a very simple tale. Sir Atom Prater will move to Las Vegas, a city known for sin, but he will triumph there. Step two, he, will, he has a system to become the greatest gambler of all time. In which case, he will make so much money, ESPN will give him an appearance. Yep. Ah. On set ESPN show, Adam will become infuriated at the anchor for his questions are one for a buffoon. He will get in fight with the e ESPN anchor. This will go viral. It will be all over the memes. It will be all over the Twitter. It will be all over everything. Adam Prater will rise up to greatness for he will be going on a press tour as we get to step five to discuss what happened that day on ESPN. What happened, Adam Prater? They will say, he'll say, oh, that ESPN anchor, he was a buffoon. So then he will schedule a big boxing match with a celebrity. He'll call him out, the biggest and the baddest one. But never to fear, step seven is where the money is made. He will promote this said boxing match to the likes of <laughs> Conor McGregor to the likes of Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali it will be the biggest boxing match of all time. Huh. He will win said boxing match. That's right, he'll win it, but he'll not just win it, he'll knock out his opponent in the third round. In which case, he will make tons of money because he bet on himself to win in the third round. The payout too big to imagine. In which case, we get to step nine. He lives out his life luxurious in a castle as a C-list celebrity, only making various appearances across the globe. But now, now listen. Now listen very carefully. Is this the end of Sir Adam Prater? Do we close our book on greatness? What if, you ask, he is unable to follow through with his plan? Hmm. Oh, what's that? What's that then? Oh, sir. Is that what I think it is? That's a plan B. Hmm. 
I knew Sir Atom Prater had some more tricks up his sleeve. Flip that page and see what we've got in store. Oh, a new plan. Ah, I think I'm going to like this one. He's going to move to Los Angeles. In which case, he's going to go to acting school. Under the Alliance, Edward Neal? Ah, that's, that's interesting, to say the least. Step three. Ah, oh, many of these artists do. Sir Adam Prater will claim that he's a misunderstood artist ahead of his time, frustrated by the system, frustrated by Hollywood. Let's move this on to step four. Oh, he'll do small indie movies with little success. No one will understand his greatness. In which case, he'll give up on acting altogether. Why, you say? Why? Why? Well, because he's got a three-month stay on an island. In creativeness, he will flourish. Let's see what more Adam Prater has in store. Mm. Step seven is a very, very important one. This, in which case, he will discover a great idea on this island. It will come to him as a seashell washes in from the sea. This idea will wash over him and he will become enlightened. His acting motivation will come screaming back. He will then pitch the script to big time movie director and, oh wait, there's more. He's gonna play every single character. It's never been done. And I mean, an actor myself from the lights of Juilliard and in theaters all across the globe, I've never seen an actor play every character. I mean, this will be a hit at the box office. Let's see what happens. Ah, just as I imagined. He's gonna shoot this movie, become the first ever actor to play every character in a feature film? Now, sir, this is unheard of. Now, Adam Prater may be ahead of himself, but I do say I like his ambition. He's gonna win the Oscar. Playing every character, he'll win only against himself? Oh no, oh no. Step 12, he's gonna fake his death at the Oscars. Oh, sire, we must move on. Ah, Sir Adam Plater will then live out his days in hiding, only to come back as only you can on The Tonight Show. The only show you can fake your death and come back. I mean, you say no one's ever faked their death and come back. Which leads us to step 15, which is really where we blossom. Now, I do say, Sir Adam Prater has tricks, but this one will mind fuck the entire world. Now listen, as you all are watching this, step one to either plan will already be set in stone. Your beloved Adam Prater is already set off. He's somewhere between Ohio and California by now, and I know this may be hard news for you to hear, but I do want to ensure you that he is safe. Clearly he has two plans that have very little chance of failure. So now I ask you guys take a step back in his life and let him live out his plans. And maybe one day he will come back and bless you with his company, as I know he has mine for many years now. I'm Sir Edward Neal. I'd like to wish you all a good day. Happy holidays. <laughs>